Welcome to this uh, brief instructional video on the interactive document tool within D2L Brightspace. So right now we're logged in as a student and after going to the content section and hitting the demo environments that we have, I have found this interactive document. So typically what we encourage is going to a full screen mode to remove any kind of distractions. Um, it's a simple three-step process for the student to engage in, meaning there would be an instruction step, right? So please uh, find an attached document related to the design, based research, and educational technology. And then go through and answer the question cards, right, that are in the document. Really, the purpose is to make this document a little bit, or any kind of uh, study material, um, a little bit more interactive, engaging, um, you know, have students engage in a less passive process. So the in-document activities, as we can see, would be viewing the document, answering question cards, joining a discussion thread, and adding, um, yeah, own contributions. And this is how we will be graded based on all of these different, uh, yeah, this is how it's weighted. So first step would be to go in and actually open the document. Um, on, the first thing you'll notice is on the timeline, we'll see the contributions and each contrib like each um, uh, symbol on the timeline indicates a different uh, thing. The white dot will indicate discussion threads started by uh, students or, or myself as a student. And the lock symbol indicates question cards that have been uh, input actually from the teacher's side. So as I go through the document, I'm going through and reading, first thing I can see is a discussion thread that is started by another student. So can you explain this to me? I can go ahead and like that and reply and say my, my response number two, right? As you can see, I've already uh, put in a response. If I want, I can actually delete that, right? Delete that comment and go ahead. And if I wanted to record my voice or add an attachment, that is also okay. Now, Continuing on, um, this is really a summary of all the contributions so far. Um, and heading down further, continuing to read, I see there's a question break. So I cannot continue until I've answered this multiple choice question, at which point I would say, for example, A, I could submit. And then I can see it's incorrect. It's actually supposed to be C. Once I click continue, then the rest of the document until the next um, until the next lock symbol is available to me. Now, the, the green symbol here indicates a discussion thread started by the teacher. If I wanted to add my own, I could simply have an inline annotation and start a discussion thread and say, look, this is what I would like to ask. Make sure that I really engage with my students, uh, with my fellow peers, and develop a little bit deeper understanding on the material. So that is the interactive document uh, from a student's perspective. I will now show you from a teacher's perspective how it would look. So now we are back and we are logged in as a teacher. And as it's loading, we can see uh, one thing I forgot to mention really was um, anything within this box is feedback fruits, right? It's an integrated within an iframe of Canvas, um, sorry, Brightspace. Um, and Canvas as well, of course, but uh, in, in this case, we're looking at Brightspace. Um, again, go to full screen. We can see the dashboard looks a little bit similar. Uh, we can see a little bit of a uh, idea in terms of the statistics, right? Provide a little bit more control. We can also download that analytics. Really understand, you know, where are our students in this entire process? Um, these are the instructions that have been set up, and this is the document, and then here are the grades. Now, publishing the grades, we'll synchronize these back into the Brightspace gradebook. So once we open the actual document itself, here is where things become a little bit different. So let's go, for example, to here and say we'd like to open a question card. We could just, well, we could add a question card here. And we could link it to where the page currently is. So we can have an open question. What does uh, he, he mean by design research, right? And then I can say the correct answer would be A. Students can also see anonymized answers. Um, basically at that point, uh, actually I'll go to full screen, make life a bit easier. And we can click publish. 
So here is a question basically that's opened up by the instructor. And we can choose to make it mandatory or not. Um, so once I've done that, really, there's just nothing else for the teacher to do other than to maybe if they prefer to edit, maybe the document in terms of the file type, um, maybe some of the settings, perhaps uh, separating it out by contribution, uh, contribution per group, uh, posting question cards, contributing anonymously or changing the way. So very simply, I mean, that was really the interactive document uh, very quickly in a nutshell. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.